Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the End of Kerbal Space Program, a series in which I endeavor to find the end game in KSP. We are in Seacan, adding a mod. This week, that mod will be Kerbal Joint Reinforcement. All right, what do we have for contracts? I uh, don't think we're going to take much this episode because I'm mainly going to focus on building a launcher and putting some prerequisites in orbit around Mun and Minmus so we can get all of the science. Test medium landing gear and flight over Kerbin. That's at... Oh, it's just flying. Yeah, we can go ahead and take that. Oops. So, I guess it's just gonna be that one. All right, I'm gonna get to building. That launch went really well. This was just going to be a test, I swear. And um, we're in orbit. This is over seven tons. And we have enough to circularize and probably almost enough to get us to the moon. And then we still have this whole stage. Um, so might have went a bit overboard on that. I do want to add some uh, solid rocket boosters for the first stage to actually get it off the pad rather than sitting there for a while. Uh, but I really don't need the extra Delta V. So I might take off one of these tanks or at least do the one that's half. Well, for now, I'm going to put uh, the... I'm going to put it in a stable orbit because our periaps is a little bit low. And then we'll launch another one and work on a uh, fuel depot to go with it. This one took a little bit more fuel to get into orbit because the payload is actually 15 tons. I was wanting to put a, a full half stack, but I had to go with the, uh, with the X200. It's like half of the half stack, so quarter stack. Not the most efficient trajectory, kind of a straight up, but uh, it got the job done. All right, I'm gonna put another one of these in orbit and uh, finally test the landing gear. Okay, it's time to dock these. So we got them in a 100 by 100-ish orbit. Decouple. And face north. Set the target. A little bit fast. Oh, wrong way. I'm going to switch to the other one, not that one. Turn the lights on right quick so I can get this aligned properly. I should probably have this control from here. Mm. 
And that's now one craft. I kind of wish I wouldn't have brought in so much fuel. Whoa! Oops. Uh, let's turn that engine off, shall we? Guess we can go ahead and dump all this into our tank. And <laughs> we still have plenty left. Okay. Um, so let's get rid of this. Do a couple. Turn the lights off. And put this in a more not close to those things orbit. It looks like we are control locked. We can't use, oops, that was the wrong one. Um, we can't add a maneuver. Control locked. No data, no signal, com net path. Not connected, limited probe control. So it's time to upgrade the tracking center. With the upgrade, we should be able to communicate with our probe. Yep, there's green lines. Oh, okay, I realized that I didn't have the uh, antennas deployed. So, with them deployed, full signal. All right, now that that's done, we have one more mission before the end of the episode, and that is to escape Kerbin's SOI. Here we go. All right, and on that note, I am going to call this an episode. Thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.